I am so glad to have all of you in Sunday school today. Have you had a good week? Yeah. yeah. Good. So for some reason, our light bulb is burnt out today. Um, do you want to sit in here in the dark and have our Bible lesson? Or do you want to get out and do something? All right, so our Bible lesson today is going to be about David and Goliath. Have you guys heard that story before? Yeah. I figured you had. He is going to start off from 1 Samuel chapter 17, and we are going to start with Goliath. Goliath was a, was a Philistine, and the Israelites had come out to fight against the Philistines. And in verse 8 it says, Then he stood and cried out to the armies of Israel and said to them, Why have you come out to line up for battle? Am I not a Philistine and you the servants of Saul? Choose a man for yourselves and let him come down to me. If he is able to fight with me and kill me, then we will be your servants. But if I prevail against him and kill him, then you shall be our servants and serve us. And the Philistine said, I defy the armies of Israel this day. Give me a man that we may fight together. When Saul and all Israel heard these words of the Philistine, they were dismayed. I think I'll let you guys help me act out the story for all of our viewers. Would you like that? Yeah! Okay, so we're going to go LARPing. Kasten, what does LARPing stand for? Uh, live action role play. And what do we need if we're going to do live action role play? Props. Props and costumes, right? Yeah! Okay. We need our props next. So, Jaden, you're Goliath. You've got Goliath's sword and his body armor. And Goliath was like nine feet tall. So you're going to be big. Now, He's supposed in the video, to be. Okay? Supposed to be. So King Saul was a head taller than any of the other Israelites. And King Saul, your prop is a talit. This is a Jewish prayer shawl. Wow, is this going to be your crown? Nice. Sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> king of cool. Nice. You're the king of cool. Awesome. Okay. Um, and then we need our Why army, too. Out? Wait, am I going to okay. get my arms out? Or like you can hold it under. That's fine. Oh, okay. Yep. All right. You are part of the army. You need your shield. So we've got Israelite soldiers with spears and one with a shield. Okay. Did you get them all in there? Yeah. We should have brought a little king. Very cool. All right. You Israelites, you dare fight against my army. Send one man out to fight me. And if I kill him, he will be our slaves. Uh, the Bible says that David was a young shepherd boy, and his dad had sent him to where the Israelites were going to be fighting against the Philistines because he had older brothers there, and his older brothers were going to be fighting. And so his dad sent him with food and supplies for them, things that they needed, right? And so David gets there just in time to hear Goliath hollering at the armies of God and putting them down. And it upsets David because David had had some encounters with God. David had been able to kill a bear and a lion when they came after his father's sheep. And God had to empower him to do that, right? David was just a young teenage boy. And so can you imagine as a teenage boy being able to kill a lion and a bear when they came after the sheep? Yeah, that's pretty crazy, right? <laughs> so, uh, and he, was, he wasn't big. He wasn't like bigger than his older brothers who were fighting. He was young, small. God had taught him well how to prepare, how to, um, he had taught him how to worship, how to play a part. He was very talented. Um, but he hears this and he gets offended for his God because the Philistine the giant, Goliath, was cursing God and cursing God's people. And so David starts asking around. Well, what will they do if somebody does step up and take on Goliath? And his brothers get mad at him. Oh, you think you're some hot shot? Get out of here. You have no business being out here. And so they put him down. But David just keeps asking other people. And before they know it, somebody's taking them to King Saul. Okay? Let's act that part out. Okay. Right. I'll fight Goliath. Why do you think you used to kill the giant? Because God helped me kill a lion and a bear when they came after my father's sheep. Alright. I will give you my armor. I can fight with the king's not I know Am I a dog that you come out when you stick? sticks? Come up here and I'll give you this flesh to the birds in the air. Come me from a sword and a spear for the name of the Lord. The Lord will deliver you in my hand. And chop off your head with your own sword. Everybody know that the Lord has got you. 
and then you fall down dead. What? <laughs> All the Israelite soldiers were thrilled. They chased after the Philistine armies because the rest of them ran away. When the story got out, all the women were singing and dancing. Saul has killed his thousands, but David is tens of thousands. Saul has killed his thousands, but David is tens of thousands. And when King Saul heard what the women were singing, he was not very happy. That was the beginning of a little more trouble for David, who would be the next king of Israel. You guys did an awesome job acting that out. Did you have fun? Yeah. Good. Uh, so what lesson do you think we can learn from the story of David and Goliath? Oh, lots of good answers. Jack, should we go first? That God can give you power over your enemies. God can give you power over your enemies. Good answer. Bryce? Uh, it doesn't matter. You want me to come back to you? Can be anything? Yeah, it can be any answer. What, what do you think we can learn from that story we just acted out? About why he killed his head off. Why he cut his head off because he found sword. Okay, he didn't let him just go free, did he? All right. Jaden? Uh, I think a good lesson to learn from that is that everything's possible since David was alive when everyone thought they couldn't. Like nothing's impossible with God, yeah. huh? Very good. Lydia? I love that one. That's yeah, sometimes kids feel like they're not big enough to do things, right? But that's not how God treats us. We're able to do anything with God. There's a scripture in Philippians that says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Remy? Um, that God will never get mad at you for protecting your own self when someone's trying to hurt you. But if someone's not trying to hurt you, don't hurt them. That's a good answer. Yeah. Because God wants us to protect our families, doesn't he? In fact, God protects us. The Bible is full of scriptures. Actually, David, when he became king, wrote several psalms that talk about how God was his protector. Mm -hmm. Molly. Um, so David's brothers um, fought bad again. Uh -huh. And so I think another lesson is it doesn't matter what other people think of you because you know that God created you special. Because God is for you and he made you special. I love that. Very good. And always believe in God. And always believe in him. Put our trust and faith in him, right? Mm -hmm. Good. Yes, yes, ma'am. God will always be with you. And if someone thinks bad about you, don't worry. Because God will always love you and never think something bad about you. I love it. You guys are all so smart. And you were so creative today. I loved watching like you subscribe our video. go LARPing. Yes, subscribe to our video. And your family can get out and knock down your favorite bugs. That would be really cool. You know, because the whole reason we started our GOATS channel is because there's a scripture in Deuteronomy where God told people to talk with their children about the, his laws and about his word and the things that he commands us. So, you know, that would be awesome for us to go out with our families, act out our favorite Bible story, and then talk about what God was doing for those people. Because you know what? Those stories in the Bible are there to let us know what God wants to do for us. It shows us what his character is, who he is and how he wants us to live our lives and how he wants to show up in our lives and be a part of them. So that'd be a really cool idea. Record that too. Oh, get out and do something right now. Watch out for your hand. I push it. Life is cool. Oh, Jaden's even got some ribbon dancing going on. <laughs> Our shield got stuck in the gazebo. No! This might be like a pinata. Uh, Only way harder. Okay, who's next? Me. <laughs> One at a time. Everybody line up behind me. I was the one who got it stuck. Give her the sword, the spear. Oh, you're going to try that? Okay. David. 
That's gonna get stuck with it. Oh. Uh, <laughs> no, it won't. Okay, who wants the next yeah, try? Me, 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 me. Go ahead, Jax. It was the tip. No, the tip. Yeah. We did not plan for this to happen. Ah, <laughs> you missed. <laughs> Mom, it's you my get the I'm gonna get the crazy. It's my fault you got stuck. I threw it. I feel like it was your frisbee. Oh, yeah, I want my hoop back. The metal hoop on the back. Oh, the hoop's not up there. The hoop's right here. Oh, well, then we don't need to get it down. Yeah, we do. You just want to do the pinata, play it like a pinata so we can get it down? Oh, my frisbee. It's okay. All right, Lydia's gonna try. I like that you have cheerleaders, Lydia. Back up. Wait, wait. Don't throw till Hunter's back. Hunter back. Okay. Now we can just. Oh, so close. Thank you guys. I hope that you had a lot of fun today and we'll see you next time. Don't forget, get out and do, get out and do something. I can always trust you more.